guys and today's episode we are working on a Fiat 500 the white 2010 one this is a big project it's going to be ongoing for a little while so if you haven't seen the first couple of videos on this car go back and watch them first so you'll see everything that's wrong with it up to now and now we're going to try and fix what's wrong with it thank you everyone who did comment in the last video i really do appreciate all your comments likes and everything else it uh, really means a lot in this video we're going to be doing the clutch on this Fiat 500. Never done one on one of these cars. I think only once previous I've done one. It was on a Mini Cooper sidewalk project. Go back and watch that as well, guys. That was a fun project. Let's crack on and get this gearbox out. Before I start, just gonna show you there. We've got a pile of goodies. We've got a rocket cover gasket. We've got a thermostat. We've got a new oil sump. We've also got a timing belt kit, which includes the water pump, pulley. We've also got the clutch kit. I think that's it for now. Uh, the other service bits are still waiting to come. The oil, spark plugs, fuel filter, all them bits are waiting to come. So what I'm going to do, all right, because I know you can change the gearbox or change the clutch without taking the front end off, but I am going to take the front end off this car only because it's what I'm used to doing. You, you salvage guys will relate to me. We're used to stripping down cars to the bare bones anyway. But the reason why I'm going to do it on this car is, is, is because it's in such a state. I've already removed a few parts, which you would have seen. But as you can see, it's really dirty. It's got oil leaks from the rocker cover. It's got oil leaks from the sump. It's got oil leaks from the gearbox. And I want to see where else it's leaking from. It's also got some sort of leak from the water, from the thermostat. So I want to take everything off. The front bumper is pretty easy to take off on these. You take the front slam panel off the radiator. There's no air conditioning. So we don't have to worry about that and we can get a good access to the front of the car then and we can also see if there's anything else wrong with it so i'm just going to crack on now and start taking off the front bumper uh, you should all by now know how to take a front bumper off because it's loads and loads and loads of um videos on fear 500s on youtube i'm going to take this front bumper off but before that i'm going to take the front wheels off first i'm itching to have a look at these discs and pads you can tell a lot from a car from its discs and pads if they're really worn out and they haven't really been looked after. Uh, like I said, look, it's got it's still got its little marks here and there. It's not a perfect car by any means, but it'll be a perfect running engine when we get it sorted. So I'm gonna take the front wheels off first, and then we're gonna tack this a bumper, slam panel, drain all the water out, and then we're gonna have a good look around then of what needs to be done to the engine. Okay, here's a first look at the discs and pads. Let's see if we can get a light on there for you guys. Uh, there's not a lot of meat on them um, pads. Let's look. Wow. You could tell this one's been driven quite close to the course. And look at all that. What's that about? What's all that? It's like they've been driven through paint. That looks like it's been splashed up against the, the wheels. Anyway, as you can tell, I know these cars rust, but bloody hell, a state. Quite rusty one again. I think that goes from where it's from. It looks like it's from Scotland, this car. But these discs, if you look, it's a, it's a little bit of a lip on there. And discs and pads will definitely need to be changed and a good service. They are absolutely rusty. In fact, we haven't come here for this yet. We've got this car, we've got to get this car up and running tidy first. But I know I'm going to be in for a bit of a problem uh, doing this car. But means I'm on this side now. I'll undo the uh, drive shaft nut and try and get this drive shaft out. Okay, that uh, nut is well and truly stuck in there. So I'm gonna have to call on my wife to step on the brake pedal so I can get some good leverage on it. I have noticed though, I don't know whether there is one on these ones, but there's definitely a spring uh, missing off here. That's if it is fitted one. But the newer one did, I don't know whether these do. I'll compare with the other side. But a uh, hell of a state on these discs and pads. You can actually see that uh, this here is where the car's been sitting. And obviously the brakes must have been seized on and it's pulled some of the 
that's where the caliper was stuck on it's taking a chunk out of the metal there that's where that is from and it's just been they've just been binding and grinding since so not good but like I said these cars are known to rust but in certain areas they rust a bit more like that Fiesta I had was a hell of a rust uh, bucket I say rust bucket it had a lot more rust surface rust than uh, the normal age cars and this one's gonna be the same I think take off the other side now and see if you can have any more joy on the other side first Okay, that's more of the same on this side, although the disc doesn't look that bad. Um, let me see if we can get a light on there for you. Them pads are more or less at it. There's a lot of surface rust. Now, there's no spring on this side either, so I don't know whether there's supposed to be a spring on there. And there's more white all over the arch line that's what I'm assuming they must have drove through some paint of some sort okay believe it or not it is the next day now I, I almost jacked this project in uh, if you notice the airbox everything is back in on the car because I had it running put it all back together I'll just show you now I didn't want I put all the new pipe in replaced all the breather pipe there's the old one there so I wanted to see what it draw, uh, run like, but these hub nuts were the hardest thing I've ever had to try and undo off a car and I look at the state of that. I've had to hammer it and hammer it and hammer it with this and I'm not worried, not worried of a lie, right? I've had my breaker bar, I had that bar and that wasn't enough to undo it uh, I so I put the wheel back on lowered the car down hammered it uh, undone it tried to undo it put the wheel back off hammered it a bit more and so on and so on and so on and the only thing that would do it and I managed to undo it was that bar there I had to take it off the jack and undo it that way and I manage in the end I was even the car was on the ground the handbrake was on it was still turning that front wheel uh, while it was on the ground so I had to put a brick under the front wheel and then just keep on and on and on and then eventually it give up and let uh, and released I had to do that for the both sides that's how tight they were so the problem I got is them hub nuts have never been undone so god help what else is not going to come undone on this car so this like i said battery's back in everything's back in but i'm going to start stripping it back out again um i'm going to take the bumper off everything off and go from there but like i said this project nearly didn't happen but uh going to going to home i'm going to sit down giving it a break come back another day which is the next day for me and have another look and today I've done it so it just goes to show have a break and don't give up I persevered and I've done it but this is just the start now I gotta take the lower arm nut off so I can release this to get the drive shaft out that's not gonna be fun so while I take the front bumper off which the screws are probably rusted I'm gonna let that soak in a little bit of oil and hopefully they should come out <laughs> fingers crossed he says okay right let's crack on now with the rest of this and undo the the bumper I know we grew up a little too fast I miss the days that we turn and relax where did the town go it all passed now I need to go back I had no worries but always had plans only thing that I was giving the trash now it's much harder to laugh hard to get up and the work on my craft yeah. I need inspiration don't need no validation yeah, I've done enough of these to understand now how easy they are to undo. You've got uh, a bolt each inner side wing at the top, underneath the arch liner. You should have two screws inside the arch liner, one there and one there. 
one underneath that one's broken uh, you got three uh, bolts underneath and then the ones on top and that should come off so nearly there this car is horrendous every screw is rusty so them two screws in the arch liner don't want to come off so i don't want to really break them so what i'm going to do i'll try and undo the the rest of the bolts on the arch liner and i'll take the bumper off connected to the arch liners as well not ideal but rather than try and break stuff i think it'd be the best way of doing it because these screws not even touching it so and this is a good screwdriver so i'm just gonna undo these screws a minute and i'll get back to you once i've done that As you can clearly see, that car is uh, pretty rusty. It's come off with the uh, wheel arch line on this side. It's only one screw holding it. I'll get that off now I've got good access to it before it goes back on. Uh, that side I managed to undo. But look at the rust. I don't know whether you can see that. No, I don't know whether that's got a leak or what but uh, that doesn't look good so that radiator could be leaking judging by the rust on it might well be everything else looks straight on your mind so i don't think it's been in an accident previously that's the trouble when you start taking apart these cars you start unearthing other problems so i hope i don't come across anything that's too serious but these bolts are going to be a nightmare to undo let's carry on undoing everything let's get this bumper out the way looking at it there is no um headlight damage anyway so that's good I'm letting them soak a sec, so we'll just take the headlights out a minute and go from there. I'm too soon, this one is broke. So that's not good. See, that one's broke, so. Like everything else on this car, I'm starting to get pissed off. Oh my god, I can't even undo the headlight, man. Everything is just seized solid. This is going to be an absolute nightmare. I know what's happening, but I think if it, uh, this one's broke as well. So I don't know what's happened there. That's not good. That could be a case if someone could have done them up too tight. Because there's no impact there, you can see that. There hasn't been an impact, so someone's probably done these up too tight and broke them. Whoever's been in here last, like they broke this pipe, so everything is broke. <sighs> I ain't spending thousands on this car, guys. So if it's broke, it's broke. Okay, got that headlight out in the end. Uh, it was already broke, uh, but that's broke there. I had to get more grips on the end there just to grip it to undo it. So I managed to undo that screw. I can get um, a new brackets for that, so it's not a problem. They need it anyway for that bit. So there's one head light out. Rise up from the ashes, waves on my back stay, dead like a matchstick. We're coming back, I swear. Let go, see what happens down in Let go, see the magic happen. And that is a quick change, so we like the mid phase. I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring. The zero gravity keeps elevating me. They are tight. I've oh, got out the rest of it. I'm dreading these, I tell you. One rusty bolt. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. If you look at this spear, 
they ain't original look at them so they are definitely different so someone's definitely been in here pot chain with stuff but i hope they just come out all right let's do these top ones I can't see that being original. I don't know why they needed the. I th obviously the captive nuts that's on the back of this must have snapped off or something. Uh, this is gonna be a nightmare, guys. Really, really rusty. But some people are probably screaming at me now. Why are you taking the front off then? Uh, it's only because it gives me more access. That's the reason why. But it's going to be painstaking. I'm not only that. What I'll do now, I've decided what I'm going to do is when I put this all back together, the slam panel now will now will have a bit of armor right on it, so that'll protect it a bit more. And I'll put um, some decent bolts back in it, and I'll grease them up. So hopefully, we won't have this problem again. Okay, right. We uh, have done all them bolts. They're all in a pile there. Absolute nightmare to get them all out, but they are out now. So what I'm going to do now is just drain uh, out this water from the radiator and get it off because there's nothing else holding on apart from two bolts. Get this off. I'm definitely going to refurbish this at some point because this is no good like this. And I'd probably give them legs uh, a good clean up as well. So hopefully now everything else should be okay. <laughs> hey, he says. Okay, let's get this out. It is held on with a clip, but this pipe is quite stiff to come off. What I can remember, it was a nightmare the last time. I don't want antifreezes in there, guys. But it looks. Certainly don't look like any antifreeze I've seen. I know it might be like a summer one or something, I don't know. But that looks more like something else to me. It's yellow. Uh, let's undo this cap. So I've undone that pipe there. So it's a pipe at the top. There as well. I'm gonna do that now. And this should come off. Okay, now you can see right into the engine it's a hell of a mess so on the floor i'll be watching when i'm doing look at that leg bloody hell yeah it's missing a captive nut i might just get a new leg uh i don't know because that a hell of a state that is anyway now i did grease these up just to uh see if it made any difference and it did to be fair so as you can see we have some sort of water leak there so I've already got a new thermostat and that so hopefully we can replace whatever's leaking there um, as you can see there there's quite a build up of oil around the rocker cover so that's got to come off and we'll give that a good clean Uh, looks like the sump has been off. Can't really see with this in the way. Uh, it's definitely got. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can put some light to it. It's definitely got an oil leak under there. Where that's coming from, I don't know. But look at the access I got now. Got really good access to the gearbox. I could practically pull that out by hand. Uh, but uh, someone said you can look at the the timing belt from underneath. I can't see it there, so I'm going to take that cover off them so we can have a good look at it. But I have got a new timing belt water pump kit to go on yeah. Oh, this is, look at that leg. Uh, 
these legs are terrible obviously the light shows up makes it look worse than what it actually is so this um, was supposed to be taking the gearbox out today on this video but as you can see I have struggled and struggled and struggled with these um, hub nuts and I've run out of time now so I'm just gonna leave it as that for today uh, I've got to take the lower arm joint off or undo it so I can get the drive shafts out uh, I've got to take that uh, subframe off the lower bit but there out the way I've got to take all the top bits off again that's just not an issue um, now I'm definitely gonna do something with this because this is no good like this it's just gonna get worse so I'm gonna clean all this up and probably get I'll probably order some spray paint for the right color um, and give us a good clean I need to start learning how to spray anyway so I think this is a good time to start I don't want to make it look like it's been in a front accident but I obviously don't want to show all this rust either so I don't know what to do I'll probably have a look to see how much these legs are to buy because looking at this the captive nuts on this one has snapped off it's definitely been serviced recently so that's a good thing at least it's been looked after as in if I had an oil change the essentials but this car uh, is going to be a nightmare to work on, I already know that. But once it's done, as usual guys, this car will be spot on. Look at the rust. You can see that, the rust on our sump. So we got, I got a new sump in the box. I've got a new clutch, timing belt, kit, water pump, thermostat. Got all the bits. Let's show you now. We're also going to, I'm glad I've done that now because that antifreeze is definitely old looks old anyway so but things like this will make a massive difference to the running of the car and i know peace of mind that it's done uh, to a high standard okay and i can sell this uh knowing that someone's not gonna have carefree motor in for a while so it needs a good good clean and all that well we'll get there so I'm going to leave it there for this episode now guys, uh, I hope you uh, like the content so far, like I said this took longer than what I first anticipated, I nearly give up, so I haven't give up, I'm going to carry on, see how we get on in the next one guys. So don't forget if you haven't already please like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one where we crack on with this gearbox stripped down. Take care guys, look after yourselves and I'll see you next time.